The City Revisited by Stephen Vincent Benet, read for LibriVox.org by Brian Ness. The gray gulls drift across the bay, softly and still as flakes of snow against the thinning fog. All day I sat and watched them come and go, and now at last the sun was set, filling the waves with colored fire, till each seemed like a jeweled spire thrust up from some drowned city. Soon from peak and cliff and minaret the city's lights began to wink, each like a friendly word. The moon began to broaden out her shield, spurting with silver. Straight before the brown hills lay like quiet beasts, stretched out beside a well-loved door, and filling earth and sky and field with the calm heaving of their breasts. Nothing was gone, nothing was changed, the smallest wave was unestranged, by all the long ache of the years since last I saw them, blind with tears. Their welcome like the hills stood fast, and I, I had come home at last. So I laughed out with them aloud to think that now the sun was broad and climbing up the iron sky, where the raw streets stretched sullenly about another room I knew, in a mean house, and soon there, too, the smith would burst the flimsy door and find me lying on the floor, just where I fell the other night after that breaking wave of pain, how they will storm and rage and fight, servants and mistress, one and all, no money for the funeral. I broke my life there. Let it stand at that. The waters are a plain, heaving and bright on either hand, a tremulous and lustral peace, which shall endure, though all things cease, filling my heart as water fills a cup. There stand the quiet hills. So, waiting for my wings to grow, I watch the gulls sail to and fro, rising and falling, soft and swift, drifting along as bubbles drift, and though I see the face of God hereafter, this day I have trod nearer to him than I shall tread ever again. The night is dead. And there's the dawn poured out like wine along the dim horizon line, and from the city comes the chimes. We have our heaven on earth sometimes. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.